crew. Busy, busy, busy. Now we're in Gorilla Glue mixing and mastering. Uh, let's get into the ever so delicate subject, and that is analog versus digital. It's very arguable. It's very touchy. All right, amongst us, amongst all of us musicians, it does not matter what genre you come from. Analog versus digital. Big argument. Okay, so let's get down to this. Sound is an element. We must know this first. It is just like an element on the elemental table. The only difference between this element and the rest is that its density is not static. We know that titanium and gold and silver and all that stuff, they have static number of density. You know what I mean? Like tungsten is very dense. That's like the hardest metal. That They use that metal to actually cut other metals. Go look it up. Um, and that's also what they make a um, train tracks, I believe, out of. Because, I mean, well, geez, trains are pretty fucking heavy, aren't they? All right, so, like, let's get into the subject of sound being an element. Its density is changing. Sound needs a medium. The first medium that it must pass through for anyone to hear it is air. Air goes up, compression, and then down, refraction. So plus and a minus, what goes up must go down. Uh, so when we look at the human eardrum, we see the tuning fork and stuff, and the, the seashell and the wiring, we know that's filtering. In the vibratory response right so when sound goes through different mediums we change the texture and I find that digital recordings are thin they thin they're like thinned out even though we can record them at 24 a uh, bit and uh, you know 48 96 192 K we can do that but it's like kind of thin so what we try to do is get that analog warmth and try to restore that. Well, sound is an element and can be hacked. You can change its density. Okay, controlling the sound also means contouring it. Okay, and shaping it. It's like Play-Doh or like a, a, a potter in his, in his clay on a spindle. Okay, so without further ado, let's listen to something me and my bro um, were working on. All right. We're going to go from digital to... Uh, Analog will A B it. Yeah, she in her glow, though will make her bend it over. Tell me it ain't so you know she moving like the cobra when she on the go. She only talk to independent bros, not an independent woman. She an independent hoe. I'm the rock and roll, so I hit the girl Nicole. I ask her if it's cool, if she wanna ride the pool. You wanna ride this highway, then you gotta pay a tool. I told her she's a fool, and I'm gonna call her Joe. Told me that it's cool, and she told me bring it over. Let me pull you over, let me ride you like a rover. She always smokes a lucky, so I called her girl my clover. Another from the south, but her sister stay in Dover. Try to make me choose, so I called a bitch choosy. Her girly pops a pill, so I called a bitch snoozy. Now, so we were A being it. Now I know you can tell how the digital one is like thin, and then the analog is like it has like a bright brightness to it. it has some air, it has some more impact, it has some more weight, some more depth. You know what I mean? And that's exactly what it what happens okay how you restore that quality to your digital recordings you have to go through these mediums so the topic in the most sought after sound it seems these days is the 70s big analog console sound this is a sought after sound well why is it well it was really dirty and gritty plus they were going to tape and stuff back there too so that tape gave it that extra texture because it is a physical medium now, I know people might want to argue, well, all oh, the microchips are medium too, da, 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 da. but it's like, yeah, I understand that. But you have to understand that it is a microchip emulating something, recording something. It is very much a digital recording, but it is not an analog tape, which is not a physical medium, which, you know, I mean, that, that tape retains some of the physical qualities. But then there are, there are like things with tape, you know, that, are missed like some things that go off of the frequency spectrum that tape cannot pick up like you know stuff like I said 192k uh, 96k you know stuff that uh, that high-end uh, content sometimes it, it's lost on tape so then that that's the you know what I mean that's the arguable you know what I mean thing but the, the solution to this is hybrid if you don't want to use tape I understand that well how do you get that big analog sound we well, have to use mediums like these you have to use some type of medium all right. 
and this is why I just wanted to share with you guys. Okay, if we're in a day of digital recording, but if you want to get that big analog 70s console sound, you don't have to spend 100K on a console and then another 100K on all this racking and stuff. You could spend about maybe 3 or 4K, if that, if you feel like you need that much to spend that much. I mean, don't let gas, uh, the gear acquisition syndrome, you know what I mean? Don't let that gray your hair and recede your hairline and put you in lots of debt. Don't do that. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is, research some stuff find the sound that you're particularly looking for and then get all that together like some okay like lo, let's look at this one some mixing okay M summing mixing is great especially when it's done analog now summing mixing basically in a digital analog console or those buses or your drums bus or like different little buses where you have certain things going through a, um, a group of instruments that's all that is but like it seems as though that in the analog summing in that 70s console sound is what everyone sought after it's like physically moves the sound and contours it pushes things up front pushes things in the back moves things from left to right in the pan panning so the binaural field everything is is giving its respective it respected space you know what i mean respective space there's a lot of space given and it is it's really nice and opened up and you could do that on a digital console it's just you know, the analog realm sounds a bit better because there's a lot of transformers, there's a lot of circuitry, there's, you know, stuff going on inside, there's tubes, there's yatamashata, you know what I mean, within the physical medium. Now, you know, you have to use 32-bit float and stuff like that if you're going to try to push plugins and yatamashata, but we know that plugins are a fictitious part of the computer that is emulating something algorithmically, right? I'm sorry for my very fast English. Okay, excuse me. But that's why I'm, I just wanted to uh, say this. Okay, that's how you hack sound to get that big analog console sound. You have to use physical mediums. Use them to your choice. Try to keep the stereo image as even as possible. Uh, the stereo image on this song is not that even. Don't know why, because everything was done in stereo and I panned it kind of evenly or, or whatnot. Don't really have the actual mix up to show you. Don't really feel like getting into that because that's a little bit technical. But I'm pretty sure that we all relate because we're all in this together, right? We're all musicians. Uh, I feel like I'm talking a bit too much. I hope that this uh, opens your eyes, maybe enlightens you, and inspires you to uh, get into some maybe analog stuff and how to achieve that sound. Anyone that's curious, I'm just using some limiting amplification, some parametric EQ, four band, low shelf, high shelf. Fully variable Q from um, 3 to 0.3 uh, on the width of the Q. Minus 15 to plus 15 on the level. Uh, low, low mid, high mid, and high. Low shelf, high shelf, level gain knob right there. Tube opto, two channel. Obviously it's a stereo, left, right, left, right. For all the uh, nerds out there that must know. TPS2, limiting amplifier. Pretty steppy, cool settings to get stuff cool. Keep it on limiter to do the LA, right? All right, so I feel like I talked too much. I catch you on the flip. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm busy. Go check out the website, Yatam Shata. If you uh, need some audio consultation, mixing, mastering, we do it all. We'll be happy to help you out. Gorilla Glue Mixing and Mastering on Facebook. Gorilla, like a G. UE, not Gorilla, because it's Gorilla mixing and mastering. We're always at war with a sound to make it sound better. Always work uh, with the transients. I'll catch you on the flip. Yeah, she in her glow, though will make her bend it over. Tell me it ain't so, you know she moving like a cobra. When she on the go, she only talk to independent bros. Not an independent woman, she an independent hoe. Time to rock and roll, so I hit the girl Nicole. I ask her if it's cool, if she wanna ride the pool. You wanna ride this highway, then you gotta pay a toll. I told her she's a fool, and I'm gonna call up Joel. Told me that it's cool, and she told me bring it over. Let me pull you over, let me ride you like a rover. She always smokes a lucky, so I call the girl my clover. Another from the south but her sister stay in Dover try to make me choose so I call the bitch choosy her girly pops her tail so I call the bitch snoozy 